Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is What are Daily Examples of Physics? Well, physics is everywhere, so everything you experience involves physics every day. But to name a few simple examples, we can consider the motions of talking and also listening. So there's a lot of physics involved in these processes. When you talk, your vocal cords vibrate, causing a compressional wave to come out of your mouth. And this sound wave can be detected and picked up by the ear of someone else. And the signal will be converted into a type of signal that your brain can make sense of. So in this sense, your auditory system acts as a transducer. It converts one type of signal into another. So there's a lot of physics involved there. And another example would be seeing colors. So if we have light coming from a source, like a flashlight or the sun, some of these different colors or wavelengths will be absorbed by an object and others will be reflected. So the colors that are seen by someone, by an eye for example, are either emitted from an object or reflected from it. And there are many different colors, and these different colors correspond to different wavelengths or frequencies of light. So the speed of light is given by the wavelength of the light times the frequency. So in the visible portion of the electromagnetic spectrum, you have the mnemonic Roy G. Biv, and Red has a much larger wavelength than does violet. But conversely, because the speed of light is constant for all the colors, violet will have a greater frequency than red. Another example would be of increasing the entropy in a glass of water. So if you have a glass of water and also some ice, and you put the ice in the water, you will cool the water down, so you will lower its entropy, but you will increase the entropy of the ice as it melts. And if you look at the total entropy of the system, you'll see that it actually increases. And this is due to the second law of thermodynamics. Globally, entropy tends to increase. Finally, uh, a final example for seeing physics in your daily life would be if you get a bag of groceries and all the contents have a total mass m and you lift the bag a certain height, you're actually doing work. And the amount of work that you do depends on how much or how high you lift the bag of groceries. So the work will be equal, in this case, to the potential energy that the bag now has which is equal to the mass of all the contents times the gravitational acceleration g times the height by which you lift it. And it's because you're exerting a force on this mass and moving it in the same direction as the force. This is why you're doing work on it. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is Daily Examples of Physics.